Well, first of all, it is a Big Bang model. In other words, there is a Big Bang, but the Big Bang was not the beginning. The universe begins with stars and galaxies as we come to know and love it. And in that gap, we don't really expect anything to be there. And these new objects appear to be in that gap. And so this would completely force, would force it to completely rethink what's going on back then. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. The James Webb Telescope was designed precisely for this purpose, to help us understand the origin of galaxies. So uh, uh, we shouldn't be surprised that we're surprised. A new understanding of the universe. We delight in this. Humanity has always been fascinated by the sky above us and everything it has. Curiosity is one of humanity's strengths and will continue to be a prominent trait. Countless people have wondered what is beyond our world, and their inquiries have led to new discoveries about the universe. The universe is vast and complex, and since the advent of space exploration technology, human beings have been eager to learn more and more about its mysteries. We know very little about it, but humanity is anxious to unravel its greatest secrets. Our universe is enormous and unique, and with each passing day, humanity advances in its exploration of the space around us. Exploration of space has been considerably easier since the development of space technologies such as the James Webb Space Telescope designed by the United States National Aeronautics and Space Administration. The James Webb Space Telescope has proven to be a marvelous innovation changing cosmologists' viewpoints and the way they view the solar system and its completeness. However, it appears that James Webb has just detected some unusual phenomena which prove that the Big Bang Theory is in fact wrong. So what is the recent discovery that made them believe it? Many people believe that universe started with the Big Bang. While the theory is quite popular, the same name of the basis of modern astronomy might be shaking as eminent theoretical physicist, Dr. Michio Kaku just revealed that what we might have known about the theory is in fact wrong. Most people wonder how did the universe begin? And according to the most popular belief, it all started with the Big Bang itself. The theory of the hot Big Bang, which proposed that the universe as we know it today arose from a hotter, denser, more uniform past, was one of the biggest scientific accomplishments of the 20th century. The Big Bang is frequently depicted as the beginning of everything, space, time, and the birth of matter and energy. This makes sense from an archaic perspective. If the universe we perceive now is expanding and becoming less dense, it must have been smaller and denser in the past. But the new galaxies that were just found by JWST made scientists like Dr. Michio Kaka believe that we were totally wrong about everything we thought we knew. The infrared instrument on the JWST enables it to focus on brilliant objects such as very distant galaxies. The JWST's mission is to look for the first light in the universe and celestial objects that appeared right after the Big Bang. Examine the development and evolution of galaxies, investigate the atmospheres of distant exoplanets, photograph planets in our own solar system, and look for evidence of dark matter. Renowned American theoretical physicist Michio Kaku just shared a stunning discovery made by the James Webb Space Telescope, and it changes everything we know about the cosmos and its existence. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, is one of the most advanced space observatories ever built, and it is set to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. One of its primary objectives is to observe the very first galaxies that formed after the Big Bang. These galaxies are thought to have formed just a few hundred million years after the birth of the universe, and they hold valuable clues to the early evolution of our cosmos. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope is currently the most advanced space telescope around, with cutting-edge technology and advanced tools to let it see farther into the universe and see in much greater detail than ever before. In particular, among its capabilities is the ability to, technically speaking, see through time. Time and distance have an interesting relationship. This is because visual images and signals need to actually travel in order to be seen. For example, the Sun is on average 150 million kilometers away from the Earth. Now, one might think that all sunlight that reaches Earth does so instantaneously. But that actually isn't true. Light has a set speed it can travel. This is very fast, but it isn't instantaneous. With this speed in mind, 
We know that it takes light from the sun a little over 8 minutes to reach Earth. That means when we look at the sun, we aren't seeing a live image of what is actually happening on the sun. We're actually seeing what was happening on the sun around 8 minutes prior. Now take this idea and expand the scale so it applies across the universe. All stars emit light, which we can see. But the farther away the star is, the older what we're seeing is. If you're looking at a very distant star, you're actually seeing what happened a very long time ago. Now, let's talk about the galaxies in question. The six potential galaxies spotted were estimated by the team to have existed around 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. What are these galaxies? And what impact will they have on our understanding of the universe? NASA's $10 billion telescope, which was launched in December 2021, has just spotted six gargantuan galaxies, each roughly the size of our own Milky Way. Yes, a group of galaxies from the dawn of the universe that are so massive they shouldn't exist. They are so ancient. Researchers have said that they shouldn't even exist anymore. A team of astrophysicists found the mysterious objects hiding in images taken from the James Webb Space Telescope, which was published in a study on February 22nd. They've also revealed that this finding is pushing the limits to everything we thought we knew about space. NASA was able to find galaxies nearly as huge as the Milky Way, all full of some very mature red stars, a recent study has found. The images were obtained by the James Webb Space Telescope, which showed exactly just how far away these stars were. While only appearing as minuscule dots to the powerful telescope, Astronomers have now been able to establish the age of the stars through analyzing the light emitting from the galaxies. Dr. Michio Kaku while going live on NBC News said, The James Webb Space Telescope just revealed six massive galaxies that scientists previously thought could not exist. He also added, These findings have the potential to shatter our scientific understanding of the universe. In an interview with CNN, Neil deGrasse Tyson said, the James Webb Telescope was designed precisely for this purpose to help us understand the origin of galaxies. So we shouldn't be surprised that we are surprised. The fact that galaxies existed back then isn't the issue. The Milky Way is estimated to be older, after all, and scientists in 2022 found four galaxies that likely formed 350 million years after the Big Bang. But these six galaxies are just enormous, significantly dwarfing these four other galaxies. In particular, these six galaxies are estimated to have around the same amount of stars back then as the Milky Way does now. Considering the Milky Way only amassed such a huge amount of stars after billions of years of mergers and accretion, it is baffling that there were galaxies so enormous not even one billion years after the Big Bang. These objects are way more massive than anyone expected, said Joe Leha, an assistant professor of astronomy and astrophysics at Penn State. He continued, we expected only to find tiny, young, baby galaxies at this point in time, but we've discovered galaxies as mature as our own in what was previously understood to be the dawn of the universe. Researchers also claim that the discovery pushes the limits of our understanding of cosmology, and these objects are now being informally referred to as universe breakers. They have been living up to their names so far, Leha added. While he revealed that they had no idea what we were going to find, the unexpected has since created issues in the field. The assistant professor also added that this was their first glimpse back this far in time, so researchers were keen to keep an open mind about what they were seeing before them. While the data indicates they are likely galaxies, he said, I think there is a real possibility that a few of these objects turn out to be obscured supermassive black holes. However, the amount of mass we discovered means that the known mass in stars at this period of our universe is up to 100 times greater than we had previously thought. But maybe it wasn't through mergers or accretion. Maybe they just formed stars naturally. After all, that does happen. The Milky Way does it too with around a star or two forming each year, on average. But this also doesn't make sense. Because if these six galaxies were forming new stars to grow to such a massive size, they would need to be spawning hundreds of new stars each year throughout the entire history of the universe itself. That's no exaggeration either. The Milky Way galaxy is thought to have around 400 billion stars, and these six galaxies must have a similar amount. So yes, they really would need to be forming that many stars so often. And even if they could do that, it still should be impossible because quite frankly, 
As far as our current scientific understanding of the universe is concerned, the amount of baryonic matter, normal matter, as opposed to dark matter that existed in the universe at the time was nowhere near enough to fuel these galactic growths. There simply wasn't enough matter to form six huge galaxies so fast. It's bananas, study co-author Erica Nelson said in a statement. You just don't expect the early universe to be able to organize itself that quickly. These galaxies should not have had time to form. According to their measurements, these six objects could weigh billions more than the sun. For one of the galaxies, the total weight of all its stars may be 100 billion times greater than the sun. Nelson and her colleagues, including first author Evo Lab of the Swinburne University of Technology in Australia, published their results February 22nd in the journal Nature. The latest finds aren't the earliest galaxies observed by James Webb, which launched in December 2021 and is the most powerful telescope ever sent into space. Last year, another team of scientists spotted four galaxies that likely coalesced from gas around 350 million years after the Big Bang. Those objects, however, were downright shrimpy compared to the new galaxies, containing many times less mass from stars. The researchers still need more data to confirm that these galaxies are as big as they look, and date as far back in time. Their preliminary observations, however, offer a tantalizing taste of how James Webb could rewrite astronomy textbooks. Another possibility is that these things are a different kind of weird object, such as faint quasars, which would be just as interesting, Nelson said. But if even one of them is real, it means we may be profoundly wrong about some basic details about the universe. And it also has implications for research going forward, too. Currently, computer simulation models of the universe often hinge on details like stellar mass, meaning the total mass of stars and galaxies. But if massive galaxies like this existed so long ago, we may need to reevaluate how we've been programming these models, which have a significant impact on how we understand space. But ultimately, this is also just one of the many amazing discoveries the James Webb Space Telescope has helped make, helping us learn more about the universe with every new revelation. Let us know in the comments what you think about these galaxies. As always, thanks for watching our video. See you in the next one.